Hey mamas, yesterday we talked about breast milk storage, like proper storage techniques for room temperature, refrigerator, freezer. Today we're talking about uh, milk quality and some common issues that moms have with their breast milk. So if you're looking for breast milk storage, go back to the video from yesterday. Today we're gonna talk about um, some things beyond that. So I never knew why sometimes freshly pumped milk would smell kind of off. And um, not necessarily right after I had pumped it, but when it had gone in the fridge and I'm like pulling it out to make a bottle, um, it would smell kind of funny. And I, w I, I knew the milk was good, I didn't know why this was. And I also had not heard of scalding the milk before. This is something that I discovered while putting all of this together uh, for this video and for the blog. And um, so I'm going to teach you what I learned and you will know why sometimes the milk smells kind of weird. But not only did it smell kind of weird, my toddler or baby, like whatever age she was at the time that this like specific instance would happen every so often, um, did not want the bottle. I would have to go get like different milk. Uh, a different bottle from from a different pumping session or something and um, so this is why um, sometimes the smell and taste of the milk can be a little off this does not mean that the milk is bad especially if you just pumped it and it's within the storage um, guidelines that I talked about in yesterday's video um, so this means that there are high lipase levels. Lipase is an enzyme. And when there are high lipase levels in your milk, it breaks down like the fat in the milk and that can make it smell kind of odd and taste kind of odd. And so if this becomes a problem to the point of baby doesn't want the milk or you're just uncomfortable with it, you can scald this milk and here's how you do that you put it in a pan you put the milk in a pan and you heat that up not to boiling you do not want to boil the milk because this will completely just like kill all of the beneficial components of the milk so um if you're looking for a specific number a specific temperature it's 180 degrees fahrenheit if you're not gonna like use a thermometer you're looking for bubbling like bubbling around the edges but not a full-on boil so um so yes so then so once you see those bubbles then you'll take the pan off the heat and put it in a larger bowl of ice water like so so cold to to bring that temperature down very quickly and um and then once it's cooled the milk can be stored or used like given in a bottle um so it's actually it's very easy so that's how you scald milk and um as far as once you heat the milk up if baby doesn't finish the bottle which happens a lot can you put that milk back in the fridge and then heat it back up later technically you're not supposed to because once the milk gets warm you introduce the potential for bacteria growth I didn't know this if I did I'm not sure how differently I would have done this because breast milk is liquid gold and especially if you have issues with supply, if you're kind of like just barely keeping up with your baby's needs, um, it's, it's heartbreaking to have to pour that milk down the drain, which by the way, well, we'll talk about this later, but you don't necessarily have to dump it if it's bad. You can use it for something else, not for baby's consumption, but we'll talk about that. So, um, so yeah, you're not technically supposed to reuse the breast milk once it's been warmed up, but I have done this and I won't, I won't like reuse it again and again and again. Um, I would reheat it once. I would maybe reheat it twice and that's it. Like once I've reheated it again a second time, it's like, okay, this is, I'm not doing this anymore. Um, and so something else that has happened, but then again, so let me just solidify the fact that you're 
not supposed to do this. And I'm not a medical professional, okay? This is uh, what I discovered in my research and this is just like how I do things for, for my family. And um, yeah, but like really, you're, you're really not supposed to reuse that milk once it's been warmed up. But if you, ever, if you have ever been in that situation, you will understand why I did what I did. And you just use your mama judgment in that moment in time. And um, something else that has happened is if you're out and about and you have to pump, not at home. And so then you have to store your milk in a cooler. And then you get home, whether it's been a really long day where you've been just out all day long, or you've been at work and you get home and things just kind of get away from you once you get home. Um, it's happened to me and other moms where you wake up the next morning and see that cooler on the kitchen table and you're like, oh my God, I forgot to put the milk away. And then it's like, what do I do? Is that milk bad now? Like your first thought is, oh my God, that milk is bad now. That was such a waste. I can't believe I just did that. However, I did find when I ran into this situation myself, personally, I went to Google as one does and I found a lot of moms saying that if that milk is still cool they will still use it they will still like put it in the fridge um, I will say this is a little more risky and you may want to do the sniff test um, which usually in the land of dairy and meat if you smell it and it smells bad it is bad unless you know for certain like I was saying at the beginning of this video where it's freshly pumped milk it's been stored properly and it smells weird that's a different thing so if you've left it in the cooler and you're like oh my god what do I do that I can't believe I just did that that I, now I have to dump it um, not necessarily I did this before and the milk was still cool and I kept it and we used it and it was totally okay. Um, but do make sure you use your mama gut. Better safe than sorry. If you do have to dump it, what you could do instead of dumping it is put it in a breast milk storage bag and you can label on there how many ounces of milk is in there, put it in the freezer, and save it for breast milk jewelry. If you didn't know this is a thing, you are welcome. <laughs> and this is, I think it's a newer thing because I mentioned this to my mom and she was like, that's kind of weird. But to me, I'm like, that's so cool. So it's just a very nice way of commemorating all the hard work that goes into breastfeeding and that special time and bond that you've made with your baby through nursing and breastfeeding and it's, it's hard work. So making jewelry out of your breast milk I think is super cool, super cool. Um, so that could be one way of reframing that situation where you're not going to use the milk for your baby but it's like okay well that it's still okay i'm still going to use the milk we're going to turn it into jewelry um there are people who do this specifically they specialize in this and um and then finally make sure you're using clean pump parts and storage containers so um yeah just make sure that you're you're cleaning them between pumping sessions. I know some moms will put their pump parts in the fridge in between sessions. I never did this. Um, it's probably better to wash them. It's be it's better to wash them. But um, so making sure that you're using clean parts for pumping and clean storage containers and make sure your hands are clean as well. So we're just trying to make sure that this is all as clean as possible and as safe as possible for baby. So I hope this was helpful for you. If you would like to hear more from me, I'd love to see you in my Facebook group. That is in the description of this video. Take it in there, the link to get in there. And um, that's it for today and I'll see you next time.